Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option the 2019 Chevrolet Blazer Premier. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2019 Chevrolet Blazer is an all-new vehicle, but the name is probably familiar for most people. It's been around in several different forms before, dating all the way back to the 1960s. In its most iconic form, it was a two-door SUV with a removable top. More recently, Chevy used the Blazer name for a compact SUV based on the S10 pickup truck. Now for 2019, the SUV that fills a gap in Chevy's lineup between the smaller Equinox and the three-row Traverse. So yeah, the Chevy Blazer for 2019, it's all new. It hasn't been around since 2005. That was the last time there was a new Blazer out on the road. It's pretty cool. Um, it seats five passengers, and there's a standard four-cylinder engine or an optional V6. The MSRP range, as you can see, it starts at 28.8, and the range topping Premier, which we're going to build in price on this particular review, um, starts at 45,600. So we can read right here. It says the new standard in design, the latest member of the Chevy crossover family will arrive with bold, sophisticated styling inside and out. The RS and Premier features a standard 3.6 V6, 3.6 liter V6. That puts out 305 horsepower. We'll get into that. I'm probably getting ahead of myself. Uh, it makes a, making it a perfect two-row midsize SUV. It gets 22 miles to the gallon in the city. gets 27 miles to the gallon on the highway. I guess it's mixed mileage. It'll probably be somewhere around 24 or 25. It's max cargo is basically 64 cubic feet, 64.2 cubic feet. Comes in a variety of colors. Uh, let's take a look at these colors. It's graphite metallic is one, black, <laughs> nightfall gray metallic, silver ice metallic. Then you've got the summit white, red hot, sunlit bronze metallic. I hope to not see any of these on the road. Uh, oak wood metallic. Ooh, not cute. Kinetic blue metallic. And then there is the Cajun red tent coat. Says this vehicle is available early 2019. I bet you you can get it right now. Here's some quick highlights. Says it's got a standard 8-inch diagonal touchscreen. Uh, up to 4,500 pounds in towing. That's surely with the V6 engine, which the Premier and the RS come with. Uh, it comes with available all-wheel drive, so that means it's not standard, but you can option this vehicle with all-wheel drive. And then, of course, like we said, and we know, available 3.6 liter V6. Now, this is a good time to talk about pros and cons. There's a few pros and there's a few cons. A couple of pros are it's got a refined ride quality and there's that strong optional V6 that makes 305 horsepower. On the con side of things, most competitors come with more powerful base engines than this four-cylinder that this four-cylinder has. We'll get into that. And there's a limited availability of advanced driver safety aids at this price point, I suppose. So that's that. Let's move on to the next thing because we're just on the overview page. We're going to make sure we go over everything, the design, everything, before we get to the build-in price. Here they're talking about trims that are uniquely used. So here they've got the first one they're talking about is the Premier. This is the one I like. Uh, why? Because it's the most luxurious one. I do like the RS, but I'll tell you why I don't like it in a minute. So luxurious and elegantly styled Blazer Premier is an SUV that lives up to its name with chrome accents inside chrome accents inside and out as well as premium leather appointed and suede microfiber seating surfaces. Mm. Premier is as beautiful as it is capable. All right, and then you've got the RS. And I was going to say that I didn't like well I like the RS. I love the sport, I love the looks. It has it has leather and suede accented seats. And I thought to myself, I don't know how that micro suede is going to wear. So I thought I'd get the Premier that was going to be full leather. But now we just read that the Premier also has suede inserts. Well, we're going to still stick with the Premier because I like the upscale looks, the more grown-up looks. I think the RS looks nice, but it's a little bit too, ah, uh, you know, I think the Premier just looks a little bit better. But anyway... Anyway, Escape the Ordinary with the unique appeal of the RS. Bold exterior styling, features a custom black mesh grille, performance-inspired front air damp, and black bow tie emblem. Inside, you're welcomed by jet black leather-appointed seating surfaces with red accents. RS is the street-inspired vehicle that's designed to get your adrenaline pumping. You know, we're going to have to double-check this whole interior thing 
to just to double check what these leather seating surfaces look like. When we get to the gallery, we should go take a look at the gallery next, and so that way we can see what these seats look like. Before we do that, there was one more ta tab here, and this is surely talking about, I guess, the base model, right? It just says Blazer. Modern and muscular, Blazer sets the standard for what an SUV should be with sleek lines, a horizontal black grille, available 20-inch wheels, that's good, and rounded dual exhaust as opposed to what? Square, trapezoidal. It's the SUV you'll want to be seen in. All right, cool. Let's go check that gallery really fast. I just want to run through these exterior photos. I think the um, I think the Premier looks really nice. It looks it looks still looks sporty to me, but in a more grown up way, where you could take this to an upscale restaurant, that type of thing. I guess the RS looks good. It's just it's not sporty with with enough class for what I want. You know, I want a little more class behind that sport. I guess is what I'm trying to say. This this serves that for me. This looks really good. The Premier is very nice. Now, the RS, don't, I'm not knocking it. It's a very attractive vehicle, but I won't always want that look everywhere I go. Uh, and this might be the base, yeah, and this one's the base model. So the base model's not bad looking either. Now we're over here to the interior. Now, this is the black RS. This is Blazer RS in jet black leather appointments, and I can see that that is definitely not leather right there. We're going to get a better shot of it. There's the instrument cluster. Looks like we've got analog gauges here along with a center that's an LCD. Looks like, I don't know if that's leather, but it's definitely soft touch material with some stitching. Very nice. I mean, we're going to get a better look at that, but it's very nice. Uh, here's a Premier they're showing. Uh, RS, you know, if you catch this little sentence down here, they'll let you know. Backup camera here. Shift knob. They needed to show a better shot of the interior, which they didn't. But... It's okay. Let's move on. What's this all about? Here they're talking about attitude on arrival. We put ultra-thin LED daytime running lamps above the headlights for a uniquely aggressive look any time of the day. Blazer is the midsize SUV you'll have to see to believe. So here's that daytime running light. They didn't say whether it was standard equipment or optional, but they made it to seem like it's standard equipment. They made it seem like it's standard equipment. So we're going to assume that it's standard equipment until we maybe see otherwise. I'm not going to necessarily be looking, but maybe we'll see. Here they're showing all the utility of the 2019 Blazer, Chevrolet Blazer, Sport, uh, midsize SUV, it says. Uh, so if you're a shopper, it's showing a shopper configuration. You could have a whole bunch of stuff here. You could, it's a 60-40 split fold down. So you can have one seat down here. If you're a DIYer, for instance, now you've got more space over here. Um, they're just showing you some examples. A weekend warrior might have this configuration. A, tra a traveler might be like so. And then finally, hey, if you're a commuter, maybe you just need this set up here, right? That's the deal there. Pretty cool, right? Looks good. The seats, the interior, everything looks pretty nice. The cargo management system, a Chevrolet First. This available sturdy floor mounted rail system helps keep your cargo secure as you move from point A to point B. The available flexible cargo partition and horizontal cargo net can help prevent items like groceries, gardening tools, or golf equipment from shifting. Power your on-road adventure. Now we're going to start talking about a little bit of powertrain stuff. It says, you'll fall in love from the first press of the throttle with the 3.6 V6 engine that's available on Blazer and standard on RS and Premier trims. 305 horsepower. It's fun to drive. Can tow up to 4,500 pounds. It's got a 9-speed automatic transmission. Uh, let's see. There's also the Ecotec 2.5 liter engine. It's got an estimated 27 miles to the high on the highway, 27 miles to the gallon on the highway. Although the 3.6 liter engine looks like it gets 26 miles to the gallon anyway. Uh, it seems like they both come with intelligent stop start technology, a smart, seamless way to help save gas. I don't really care for that. Can you turn it off is my question. I know you can on a lot of German sedans. Can you defeat it and turn it off on this one? I would hope so. So says both engines feature variable valve timing, which adjusts cam timing for performance when you need it and for efficiency under light load driving. Available switchable all-wheel drive gives you added capability when you need it. And speaking of all-wheel drive, now there that leads us right into the all-wheel drive capability. And they have to let us know that the all-wheel drive is being the all-wheel drive dial is being shown if you weren't sure about it. 
All-wheel drive available on Blazer 3.6 V6 models gives you added confidence in a variety of conditions. RS and Premier trims offer the advanced all-wheel drive system that's Chevrolet's crossover's most sophisticated. Uh, this system helps further improve driver control by ind independently directing torque through a twin-clutch rear axle design to the rear wheel with the best traction in poor road conditions. This helps give you more control as well as a confident feeling behind the wheel. So it says choose your driver mode. So the standard feature, or this standard feature, good to know if you have all-wheel drive, allows you to adjust your vehicle's performance on challenging road surfaces with the simple turn of a dial. So you've got tour, uh, all-wheel drive, sport mode, off-road and tow haul, right? So this must be tour right here times two, two-wheel drive. Then you've got all-wheel drive. That's four wheels. Then you got sport mode. That's the checkered flag. Then you got off-road. That's the mountains right here. And then you got tow haul. That's this little trailer icon. Cool. It says make a lasting impression. They show you, they show Apple CarPlay being plugged in here. So it says with the latest Chevrolet Infotainment 3 system, <clears throat> Technology and available 4G LTE. Hotspot, Blazor is the place where connections are made. Whether you're making a hands-free call or paying for your coffee through Marketplace mm -hmm. or your touchscreen, you're never far from things you love. So Chevy Infotainment 3, right? That's where we're at. Available 4G LTE, 8-inch diagonal touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. I see there's a couple more toggles here. So let's do that. Hang on a second. They were just showing us a picture. So the first picture... This first picture was Apple CarPlay, and then this is Android Auto, and then this is what? This is, they're showing us the, their navigation, the factory navigation. Look, we can see the 4GE LTE. You've got time, temperature. Looks like you can get to music, phone. This is definitely your maps. This would be your HVAC, and then this is your home button. Looks all pretty clear to me. There's your engine stop-start button. Uh, yeah. All right, let's move on. Safety and style. Blazer offers advanced safety technologies to help you detect and prevent potential hazards that can give you the added confidence you deserve every time you get behind the wheel. So, says it's got, uh, starting from the left over here, adaptive cruise control advanced. This available, it's optional, feature enhances regular cruise control. The cruise control speed is automatically adapted in order to maintain a driver-selected following gap between your vehicle and vehicles detected ahead, of, ahead while the driver steers, reducing the need for the driver to frequently brake and accelerate. Okay, cool. Moving here to the middle, lane keep assist with lane departure warning. This available optional feature can provide gentle steering wheel uh, turns. So it's active. It's an active system. And lane departure warning alerts if necessary to help drivers potentially avoid crashes due to unintentionally drifting out of the lane when they are not actively steering and their turn signal is not activated. So it's paying attention to what you're doing. Uh, and then I, my, one of my favorite features, rear cross-traffic alert. When in reverse, available rear cross-traffic alert can provide visual and auto, audible alerts to help the driver potentially avoid crashing into approaching detected left or right crossing vehicles. You're backing out at the grocery store. You've got these two vehicles on each side. You can't really see if anybody's coming down the aisle. And so you've got to stick your car way out there in hopes nobody like totally runs into you. This is what will help prevent that because the sonar is paying attention. So I just love that tech. I do love that tech. Then they had a couple more here. They got this forward collision alert. It says the available forward a collision alert system can alert you to detect it slower, slowing vehicles in your path. It also warns you when following a detected vehicle much too closely. Ooh, I like that because a lot of people just do not do that, that following rule, that two-second rule. Uh, and then over here on the far right, forward automatic braking. If the available forward automatic braking system detects that a front-end collision situation is imminent while following a detected vehicle, the system can automatically apply the brakes to help reduce the collision severity or even help potentially avoid the collision at very low speeds. Check. Got it. Quick spec highlights. We already know 22 city, 27 on the highway. Available 305 horsepower engine. So these specs might be, is this the V6 engine specs or is that the four-cylinder engine specs on the uh, MPGs? Seating for five, 64.2 cubic feet um, cargo capacity. The vehicle is 191.4 inches long, 67 inches tall. Let's look at these trims. So you got the base model, which they just call the Blazer. It's got that standard 2.5 liter engine, but you can put a V6 in it. You can also put all-wheel drive on this. So you can... 
You can also get it with leather, right? And it also comes with the standard Chevrolet Infotainment 3 system. So you could actually take a base model and make it pretty cool if you really wanted to. Then you've got the RS, right? Unique black exterior accents. You know, it's got the interior perforated leather appointed seats with suede microfiber inserts and red accents. And it's also got the uh, Infotainment 3 Plus, but it has navigation now, whereas the base model didn't have navigation. And then the Premier, right, we're just going over the different co configurations real fast. You know, it gets chrome. It's more of the luxury variant, right? Perforated leather seats. Here's the deal. The deal is we're doing the Premier because I like luxury. That aside, we can see that the base model Blazer is generously equipped and you can add a bunch of stuff to it. You can make it a 3LT, and it's going to have a lot of stuff on it. That includes standard items such as HID headlights, cruise control, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, but it also, but you could also put a leather upholstery on there in the V6, as we know. That'll also give you all the blind spot monitoring and all that, because you can do the upscale on the uh, on the equipment, on the safety equipment. But here's the deal: by the time you do all that, you're already into the Premier or somewhere around there. So I'm just going to skip to the cut to the chase. We're going to look at the Premier. There's a couple other things that we want to look at really, really fast, real fast. And then we're going to get into the build-in price, okay? Okay, I just wanted to check some specs, some other specs. Now, this does say front-wheel drive. We're going to do ours in four-wheel drive, so we don't need to worry about that. I did catch that. But I just wanted to see what this engine's putting down. Makes 305 horsepower at 6,600 RPMs, which is pretty high. That's probably pretty close to the red line. Um, which is as fast as the engine can turn, twist, right, spin, is go. Then the torque is 269, which is fine, but its max torque is way up there at 5,000 RPMs, whereas like a turbo, like on a German sedan or something, or a turbocharged engine is going to make that torque down low, usually under 2,000 RPMs where you're going to really, where it's more usable. So that means you're going to have to put your foot in this a little bit more, but it's going to get you where you need to go. Not a bad engine, nothing wrong with it, but I wanted to check that real fast says here that it's got a 19.4 gallon fuel tank so it's worth noting it says trailer and payload 1500 pounds all right so kind of gone through what we need to go through i think we're ready to go do the build and price let's jump over there okay so we're on the build and price page there's the l there's the blazer with some cloth 3.6 club da 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 3.6 leather was a 3.6 leather start at so you get the base with the 3.6 leather it starts at 38 Right, you're almost well. I guess yeah, you're kind of almost into the premiere, and then you throw in some other stuff. You're going to be at premiere prices, so we're going to jump right to the premiere. Right, unique chrome th uh, trimmed horizontal grill. I won't give you all the blah blah blah. Unique 20 inch wheels with available 21s. You know we're getting 21s, huh? Come on. Um, gesture power lift gate and more. All right, we'll check that out. Let's see. All wheel drive. That puts us at what? Oh, let's get the premiere. With all-wheel drive, that puts us at forty-six thousand seven ninety-five. So we're just under forty-seven thousand dollars. We've got the three-point-six liter engine. Let's run through these little photos real fast. Take a look at these photos real quick. Oh, those seats don't look bad at all. Oh yeah, son. I was gonna say buddy, buddy, son, whatever. Doesn't matter. I like I like that. This shot looks really good. That looks nice. I like that. All right, let's move on to colors. So for exterior colors, we've got what? We've got one premium color, which is the Cajun red, and that's just a little too red for me. I don't think I want to do that. Now, I, they, they don't have pepper dust. Pepper dust is a standard GM color. Maybe they're changing it. Maybe Oakwood Metallic is taking over pepper dust. It looks a little darker, but it's kind of similar to pepper dust to me. Uh, Nightfall Gray Metallic, what do we think? Nah, it looks very green to me, at least in this rendering. I definitely don't want to do black. Silver looks boring. What's the graphite metallic? <clears throat> that looks really green to me as well. Uh, Oakwood metallic. You know what? I guess it's Cajun red. I'm not really crazy about any of these colors, to be honest with you. Um, so Cajun red, it is. No, 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 no. Scratch that. We're going to go Oakwood metallic. It's the closest to pepper dust, and I like the pepper dust. So we're going to do that. Um, let's move on. What do we got here? So the interior comes in two different colors. We can either do the jet black perforated, or we can do the jet black with the maple sugar, right? And I don't want to do the jet black with the maple sugar. I think it looks fine, but I'd rather do the all black. I'd rather do the all black. Uh, you know what? Maybe we're just going to do a black on black. Let's do a black on black premiere. 
Let's do a black on black premiere with the 21 inch wheels, right? That's going to look good. Let's move on to packages. Okay, so they've got the Sun and Wheels package. That's 2,500 bucks. That gives you a panoramic roof, the 21 inch wheels. Uh, and all that. And then they have what? They have a driver confidence 2 package, rear camera mirror, safety alert seating, wireless charging, adaptive cruise control. Then you've got the hit the road package. I can skip that. That's roof rails and all whatnot. You got the floor liner package, right? Interior protection package, which is just mats and stuff. You got the cargo package, retractable cargo shade. Vertical cargo net. Then you've got the cargo essentials package. They're ridiculous with the packages, huh? Cargo tie down. We're not going to get any of that stuff. Uh, storage op optimization package. All right. The roadside safety package. All right. Let's, yeah, exactly. You got to have an arrow back up to the top because it's so much stuff. Let's arrow back up to the top and then choose which ones we're going to get. All right. I know I want the wheels. So we're going to get the sun and wheels package. So, yeah, remove the old, put in the new. That's what they're basically saying. Yay. Do that. Um, do I want the driver confidence package? Now, what all is that going to give us? Oh, that gives us a lot. Wireless charging, IntelliBeam headlights, front pedestrian braking, forward automatic braking, adaptive cruise control, rear camera mirror, HD surround vision. They throw a whole bunch of stuff for basically $2,100, $2,200. So, yeah, let's throw that on there. Boom. Okay, as long as we don't have to remove anything. And uh, price aside, I don't care. I want to get the nicest. I want the nicest because I'm a guy that would normally get a BMW or a Porsche or a Mercedes or something like that. So if I'm going to get an American car, then I'm absolutely going to be getting the nicest variant, usually, usually, of that vehicle. So. We've got the Driver Confidence 2 package. We're going to skip over the Hit the Road. The Floor Liner package, this is all-weather floor liners, right? All-weather floor liners. I like the way they snap down. They're real high and tall. They're super cool. So, yep, going to take those. All-weather floor liners for 210 Now, what's this interior protection? Oh, the difference is it gives you all of that plus this, this liner for 200 What's the difference, though? The other ones looked nicer, though, didn't they? They looked nicer. Did it look nicer? Yeah, they're higher on the wall there. So we'll a la carte that cargo mat in the back. We can surely a la carte that cargo mat, so we'll do that. The cargo package, no, we're not going to do that. Although I do like the retractable cargo shade. This is all stuff that you could get at the dealer in the accessories at any time anyway. So we don't have to really worry about the, any of that kind of stuff anyway. We're going to skip over these. The roadside safety. I don't know, just for fun. What, is it, what does it all have? Highway safety kit, first aid kit. Yeah, there's going to be a cubby bin in the back that you can store it in. It's not going to be hanging around anywhere. We're going to throw it in for a buck thirty. Why not? I care about safety. All right, let's move on to the exterior. Okay, so over here on the exterior, we've already got our 21-inch wheels that come with those 21-inch tires. Comes with that 9-speed automatic transmission. I always say I'm never going to get the engine block heater. But maybe it might be fun. I mean, do they tuck away the plug somewhere? Because maybe, maybe once, maybe once, I might need to do that. Who knows where this vehicle might be? I'm going to start getting that from now on, I think. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so I like the chrome wheel locks as well. So let's get those chrome wheel locks, I think. And then what else is there? I'm just going to like look at all these over really fast. Uh, I like the splash guards. What's this? Uh, so if you don't know what the splash guards are, this is going to prevent all like all that road tar and all that kicking up on your paint right here. And this is what ruins the car down here, right here, ladies and gentlemen, right here. This is the stuff you got to watch for. So, yep, it's buck seventy. I'm going to get these because they're worth it for hundred and seventy dollars. But I didn't catch it the first time. But I saw that to add those splash guards removed my twenty one inch wheel package. So. I have now removed that because I want to keep those 21-inch wheels. So I guess I'm just going to have to be more mindful of what's going on down there. But let's get these chrome wheel locks for sure. All right, got the chrome wheel locks. Uh, we're skipping over the splash guards. What about these black assist steps? What about these? Now, those look real cool, but are, is that going to remove? Um, no, I guess it doesn't. All right, perfect. We, could got, we got the steps without removing our... Uh, without removing our package, without removing our 21-inch um, wheels. I just want to make sure we still have them. 
Yep, we still have the 21-inch wheels. I just want to double-check. Now I'm all nervous about it. Uh, how about the body color bar grill bar? Now, what's that all about? Oh, I guess that's right here. Um, we probably don't need to worry about that because our vehicle is black. I don't think we need to worry about that. Um, illuminated black bow tie emblem. That's cool. I just did that. Uh, I just did a Chevy Suburban. I just did the Suburban. I'm not sorry, not the Suburban, the Tahoe. I just did the Tahoe and did an illuminated uh, uh, bow tie emblem. I'll put a link up to the Tahoe. All right, so we got that. And this says front and rear bow tie emblems in black. But if we look over here, this these look black. These look black already. Oh, now I get it. You see how there's like this chrome tinting right here? We could, if we got this body color grill bar right here, that would make this look black. But you know what? I like the chrome accents. It's part of the reason why I like the, the Premier. So I'm not going to change that. What's this gloss black emblem kit? I don't think I need a glossy black. I don't think that's going to help. Uh, let's take a look at the interior now. Okay, so we've got the wireless charging, front bucket seats. We've got the, uh, the top tier navigation uh, system, infotainment. We don't need any of the uh, rear seat infotainment. Do we need a front console organizer? Nope. We don't need the floor mat thing. We will take that cargo mat a la carte. Now, does that require, it may require additional optional equipment. Let's see. Is it trying to bundle it? Yeah, it's trying to bundle it, so we're not going to worry about that. You could just go to the dealer and probably pick that up at the, at the parts counter. Uh, the sport pedal kit, I do like that. The sport kettle, pedal kit's fun. That shouldn't require anything to be moved. And it, okay. We're almost done here. Let's see. The rest of this stuff, retractable cargo shades. See, they don't put a price there because they're trying to bundle it into packages. That's why they do that. Watch. Check it out. See, may require additional optional equipment. See, I know how it works, so we're not even going to try it. You just have to go to the dealer and try to get that. Uh, and I'm not really worried about it. All right, the rest of this stuff, safety equipment, safety options. We have all the safety stuff. All right, let's move on to accessories. In standard GM form, if you watched any of my videos, you already know. These accessories, they're not... They're not specific to this vehicle. Like they just have car care kits and 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 roadside emergency triangles and and earbuds and stuff like that. So I just showed you that to show that there's nothing over here that's part of the vehicle. This is just standard stuff that they throw on the end of all their building prices. GM does Cadillac, all those Buick, all the GM products. So we're gonna skip over that over the accessories because there's nothing really to get, and we're gonna go right on over to the summary. All right, so this vehicle started off at $45,600. We racked up $5,000 in selected packages, um, and we did just over $1,500 in selected options. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to print this off, so that way if you like the way I build, priced, and optioned this 2019 Blazer all-wheel drive Premier, I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can download the build summary, the PDF, the build summary. You can take it right into the dealer and say, I want this one. I want this one that Frank built. I want that one. Give me this one. And, and they do that for you. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you've made it to the end, you're super, 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 super awesome. I really appreciate it. I'd also appreciate it if you liked, shared, and subscribed, even comment positively on this video. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks for joining me. You have a wonderful, wonderful day.